Sardar Balta runs a chain of small hotels in Istanbul's historic Sultan Ahmed district. Like many others here, he is preparing to reopen after a 15-month long closure because of the pandemic. The coronavirus caused tourist numbers and revenue to slump by two-thirds last year. And the government is now vaccinating tourism workers and aims to attract at least 30 million visitors this year and revenue of $23 billion. But Serdar and other operators say that's too optimistic. Of course, we don't wait a big potential about the request, actually. And if we start with uh, exceptions with the for 35, 40 percent occupancies, and the target is to not a profit, actually, but not a minus and of the amount, will be the uh, good for the next months. Yavuz Gengeri partially reopened his restaurant a week ago. But despite some financial support from the government, he's struggling to keep going. There are very few tourists now. It's very quiet during the week and just a bit lively on weekends. It's not satisfying. We've been spending out of pocket for the last one and a half years. They're saying tourists are coming today, this or that week. I don't see better days. We're worn out. Many early bookings have been cancelled following an increase in COVID-19 infections in Turkey last month and travel warnings. <laughs> the Elisha family from the United States had planned to visit in April but postponed the trip for a month due to Turkey imposing a lockdown. They say their visit's been worth it. For us, it's good enough. It's not empty to feel like weird and it's not overcrowded to feel, to feel scared. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says some countries' restrictions on travel to Turkey are political. The country's main source of visitors, Russia, has halted flights, and Turkey is also on Britain's travel red list. Relations with Moscow have soared after Ankara discussed military support with Kiev over a buildup of Russian military forces on the border with Ukraine, and the EU and Turkey are also at odds over oil and gas exploration in the eastern Mediterranean. Russia is expected to resume flights to Turkey in late June, and Ankara expects a similar move by Britain after a NATO summit on June 14. But given geopolitical tensions, it still won't be certain it can reach its goal of 30 million visitors. Sinem Kosolu, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.